everyone, welcome back to part two of our November pullover sweater. And we will continue now on with the sleeves. Now I have already made one, so I have something to show you. So it is technically the same as we did right here, only in a smaller kind of way. Okay, so this was very wide. The sleeve is obviously going to be uh, not as wide. Uh, but I will show you the first eight rows, uh, the beginning and uh, the end of each row, just because we need to do a little bit of decreasing right here. Uh, and it might get a little bit confusing for some of you, so I will show you the first eight rows. Okay, so we have the bottom finish. I even have the little string. Now I will show you how to make the string when we are doing the hood, because it is exactly the same but I wanted to have that ready, so I have already done this. Okay, so to start the sleeve, grab your uh, yarn and your hook. Now the first eight rows are going to be exactly the same for everybody, okay? So we are just going to do uh, four decreases in those eight rows. So to start, find your chain one, uh, right underneath the armhole, okay? So this is a double crochet where we have connected and this is double crochet where we have connected and there should be one right in between them, okay? So connect there and chain two, one and two. Now our very first row should be a double crochet row. So we are gonna turn to the side and we will be looking at the inside of the sleeve to start this row. So I'm, I'm going to crochet a little bit over the tail. So yarn over and we shall make a double crochet uh, into the double crochet right here. So you can see this is where our stitch marker was and there's a double crochet where we have connected. So one double crochet at the bottom of that double crochet, then one double crochet at the top of that double crochet and then a double crochet into the next stitch. This is where our stitch marker was. And then continue on all the way around making one double crochet until you have this double crochet left right here, okay? So this is where we have connected the double crochet. Okay, so the end of the first row around the sleeve. So we have only this double crochet left where we have connected. Now we are gonna crochet two double crochets together. So yarn over, go into the top of that double crochet, pull out the yarn, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the bottom of that double crochet, pull out the yarn, you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now we are going to connect into the top of the chain two where we have sided in the beginning. One and two. Now we need to chain two and turn. We are going to start our pattern. Now this time, okay, so th this is what we are going to do. This time we're going to start with a double crochet. So yarn over and go into that stitch right here. So it kind of looks like it looks quite big. So go into the top of that two double crochets together and make one double crochet. Okay, this is what we're starting with. Then around the next double crochet we start our puff stitch. And the rest is as usual as the pattern goes. Just keep going until the end of this row. It is just, I just want to make sure that you know which stitches to put in as we start each row. So I have two stitches left and you should have a double crochet and the last one should be a puff stitch before the chain two. Okay, and then you're gonna connect or slip stitch into the top of the chain two, 
chain two and turn now it is a double crochet row this is row number three and we are gonna do another decrease now last time we did a decrease at the end of the row this time we will do it at the beginning of the row okay so you're gonna yarn over find the next stitch which is right here don't use the one under the right under the chain two that is a slip stitch so find your next stitch go in yarn uh, pull out your yarn yarn over pull through two loops yarn over go into the next stitch pull out your yarn yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through all of the loops that you have left and then just keep going with one double crochet to the end of the row okay so I have one more stitch left you can see this double crochet right here and my last double crochet slip stitch into the top of the chain two chain two and turn row four starts with a double crochet into the next stitch so this is the next stitch and then a puff stitch and a double crochet and so on keep going with the pattern until you finish this row okay so row number four ends with a double crochet on top of those double crochets that we have crocheted together so right up there and it's a double crochet connect into the top of chain two chain two and turn so row number five we are going to do another decrease and this time the decrease is in the last two stitches so once you turn starting from the next stitch just double crochet all the way around until you have two stitches left in this row so two stitches left at the end of row number five and we crochet them together like this and slip stitch into the top of chain two chain two and turn now this time we shall start with a puff stitch after the chain two now we have two double crochets and you can just decide around which one you are going to do the puff stitch I will just do it around the further one away from the chain two so I'm gonna just go around that one and make a puff stitch and then double crochet and puff stitch and so on continue with the pattern until you finish this row and row number six ends with a double crochet slip stitch into the top of the chain two chain two and turn row number seven is the last time that we are going to do uh, decreases so this time it is at the very front of the row or the beginning so the first two stitches after the chain two we crochet together and then the rest just normal one double crochet into each stitch all the way around so finishing row number seven double crochet into the last stitch slip stitch chain two and turn now fro from now on every row with the pattern will start the same so after the chain two you are going to have a puff stitch around the next double crochet because we are not going to do any more decreasing we will just have the puff stitch right after the chain two and the last stitch is going to be puff stitch again before connecting to the chain two for now keep going with the pattern I'll see you at the very last stitch Thank you. 
and the very last stitch in the row number eight of the sleeve again we have this uh, uh, decrease right here so we have two double crochets with one stitch on top and I'm just gonna go around the very uh, first one and make a puff stitch and I will just leave the other one alone like this and connect into the top of chain two and at this point we are finished with decreasing I'm gonna chain two and then all all the rest of the rows are the same just one double crochet into each stitch chain two and uh, after the chain two you will start with a puff stitch into the neck into the next stitch double crochet puff stitch all the way around and you will finish with a puff puff stitch and uh, connect into the chain Two. So we have the pattern sorted out. Now we, at this point, we only need uh, to get to the length of the sleeve. Now, from the length of the sleeve, you want to leave approximately, let me see, four centimeters for the end of the sleeve. We're going to do a lot of decreasing right here, so it's, it's going to be nice and snug at the bottom. So first of all, we are going to look up the sleeve length. So this is right here. And for three to four years, it's approximately 24 centimeters. Now 24 is including um, the ribbing at the bottom. So when you measure, you want to measure from the armhole to approximately right here. So you can see 24, maybe a little bit longer it came out. Now the sleeves are on the longer side okay so I usually make them shorter now why it comes out longer because this line right here is longer than usual as well so it would probably be approximately um, 16 17 centimeters in the size for me and it's 19 so it's two centimeters longer usually I would measure my sleeve from here because it should end now as it is a pullover and we made it longer the sleeve comes out longer as well if you want you can just take a centimeter or two off the complete length of the sleeve to make it a little bit shorter but I personally don't mind I want it to be a little bit kind of oversized and nice and um, long sleeves but again if you want to just take one or two centimeters off the length and you're gonna have them a little bit shorter okay so like I have mentioned, you want to leave approximately four centimeters from uh, the total length for the little edging right here. So if the total le length is 24 minus four centimeters, I need to keep going for approximately 20 centimeters with a pattern and then I will drop into the ribbing. Okay, so I will show you all that again. For now, you just need to keep going. Uh, and I'll see you approximately here. Okay, so when you're approximately four centimeters or so away from the full length, so my full length is 24, I kept going until 20 centimeters, so I have four centimeters left. You can leave a little less here and perhaps make a, f a row or two uh, more of the ribbing, uh, or uh, excuse me, of the edge at the sleeve um, so the next step is to do a little bit of decreasing around the sleeve so when you finish you're going to chain one and then you are gonna go the same way we're gonna make one single crochet then one single crochet and then we're going to skip stitch number three go into the next one one single crochet into the next one single crochet and we skip stitch number three so I will be counting one two skip three okay so I skip that that is one two I skip number three one two and I skip number three one two skip and so on all the way around the sleeve once you finish it doesn't matter where your last uh, skip is so I skipped and I have two single crochets and I ran out of stitches because that's where the chain one is coming out of so I'm just gonna slip stitch into the very first stitch chain 
two and turn and I will start my double crochets so I'll skip that and just double crochet all the way around the sleeve slip stitch into the top of the chain two <coughs> chain two and start your front post double crochet half double crochet all the way around so start with the front post around the next stitch then a half double crochet and a front post double crochet so from now on you will know how to make it it's exactly the same as we did right here only uh, in a smaller kind of way okay and we did the, of course we did the neckline in the exact same way as well so I'm not gonna show anymore so you keep going until you reach the length of the sleeve okay so I have I'm gonna have so let me see so this is the double crochet one two three four rows in total so I'm on row number two I need to make two more rows uh, and I will see you after that and we will start on the hood okay so the sleeves are done. You probably have one more to do. Now I'm going to jump into making the hood. Okay, so grab two stitch markers. And first of all, you're going to pick which side you want to be the front. Uh, I already have my little strings at the bottom, so this is my front. Technically, it doesn't make a difference because both sides at this moment are exactly the same. Now the next step is to find the very very middle of the front okay so what I do I uh, like to uh, kind of count the little um, puff stitches so I'm just gonna go one uh, puff stitch at a time like this and here is the very middle so I have a half double crochet in the very middle right here and I'm just gonna find the stitch above it in the color right here which is approximately this one right here so it's a front pose double crochet it doesn't matter which one we just need to find uh, the very middle and now I'm gonna count from this stitch I'm gonna count three stitches one way and mark stitch number four so if this is a very middle let me just perhaps make it a little closer okay so this is a very middle one so one two three and I'm gonna mark this and right underneath the stitch under this double crochet okay because we will be using the same stitches one more time and then so this was my very middle one one two three and four to the other side so, oh i have my neighbor's cat in my house sorry okay that's sorted so uh, what you want is uh, seven stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? And like I said, we will be using the same stitches from the neckline. So we will be going underneath <coughs> each stitch and we will be connecting our hood to that. It doesn't matter if you're going to do it in front or like behind. We are just going to use these. So grab your uh, yarn, make a slip knot, and we will start on this side. So into that same stitch where the stitch marker is, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to just take that out. I'm going to go in there, attach my yarn. chain one and make a single crochet back into that same stitch so single crochet okay so the first one's done then I just like to keep it like this so this is my next stitch I'm gonna go right under that and make a single crochet this is the next one <coughs> single crochet next one single crochet next so I find it easier to have my um, color kind of or the neckline just kind of behind 
and then I can really see where those uh, double crochets were from that row and I'm just gonna go right next to them don't worry if you are gonna skip a stitch or make two in one uh, we will figure out the width of the hood after so it is not a huge deal okay so. So just like that, that's how it should look like, okay? And then there's the the neckline, okay? So keep going like this all the way around to the next stitch marker or to your last stitch marker. Okay, so my last uh, stitch, I have the stitch marker. I'm gonna, just going to take that out and single crochet. Now, uh, we are going to start each row with a chain one and turn. And we're going to put a double crochet back into that very first stitch. So right here. So a double crochet. So that is one. Now, when you're making this row, count your double crochets because we want an odd number. Okay, so this is one into the next stitch. Two. Three. Four. Five six seven and keep going all the way around uh, counting and I'll meet you right here and we will see what to do in case you have an even number stitches okay so keep going okay so I have finished this row and I have 49 double crochets which is an odd number and is perfectly fine now if you have an even number of stitches Let's say if you would have 48 and you need it odd, you can just add an extra double crochet into that last one. Okay, so you would have two in one, so you increase by one stitch and you will have an odd number. Okay, so that's it's as easy as that. Okay, so the next row starts with chain one and turn. Uh, double crochet back into that very first stitch. And then we're going to start our pattern with puff stitches, with front post puff stitches. And double crochet in between. And just like that to the end of this row. Okay, so two stitches left to the end, and you should finish with a double crochet into the very last stitch. Okay, so here we go. We have our first two repeat rows finished. Now the thing is that the hood is quite small. It is way too small for us, so we are going to have to do a little bit of increasing. So grab your stitch markers. And let's see where we have to uh, do a little bit of increasing. So this is the front, right? So what we want, we want to find the back of the hood approximately. So this is the corner right here. Okay, so approximately above the corner. It doesn't have to be exact, just approximately there somewhere. Put a stitch marker. So this is where we are going to increase on one side. Okay. And I'm going to find the corner on the other side. So you can see these uh, post stitches make up this little arrow like this. And approximately above that, another one. Okay? So this is where we are going to increase. So uh, whatever you do, don't make those increases too close to each other, or especially if it's on one side. Okay, as long as they are apart and they are approximately at the back somewhere, it's absolutely perfect. So to start, chain one and turn, and we make one double crochet until we get to the stitch marker, okay? So keep going. I'll see you right here. So in this stitch where your stitch marker is, you want to make three double crochets into that one stitch. 
So one, two, and three. This is our increase. And then one double crochet until we get to our next stitch marker. Next stitch marker, exactly the same. Three double crochets in that same stitch. One, two, and three. And then just finish this row with one double crochet into each stitch. Start the next row, chain one and turn. Double crochet back into that very first stitch. And start your front post uh, puff stitches. And double crochets in between them. So keep going. I just want to come back and show you right here. There's nothing special, it's just for the beginners just so they don't get uh, confused okay okay so this is where our increase is from the previous row you can see the three double crochets and we just bring them into the pattern with whatever you have to do if it was a double crochet you make a double crochet over the first one I have a puff stitch then there's a double crochet and a puff stitch so we added two extra stitches on each um, increase. So extra two on this one and extra two on that one. It will be unnoticeable. We just need to know that we bring it into the pattern, into the uh, into work. Okay, so nothing special for the rest of this row. You do exactly the same thing on the other increase. Uh, so this is what I want to talk to you about now. Okay, so we will be doing these increases uh, in every uh, sort of second double crochet row. Okay, so we did a, an increase right here in this row with double crochets. The next time with double crochets, we do not do an increase. We just go around with one double crochet and then come back with a pattern. And then the next time we do a double crochet row we are gonna do the increases again we will just just exactly the same like we did we will just look at the two uh, uh, look for two stitches at the back of the hood we were gonna mark them again and make three double crochets into each in other words it's probably easier if I show you like this okay so let's take a row as in finished two rows okay so there was no increasing here here with increases then no increases and increases no increases and increases for as long as you need to do them until you get the width of the hood okay hopefully that makes sense so we just kind of have an increase then we let it rest with uh, just one stitch into um, with uh, one double crochet into each stitch and then we do another increase and then you can actually see my increases, I think. Or maybe not. Okay, anyways, so increase, no increase, increase, no increase. And for as long as we need to get the width of our hood. Now, talking about the width. So how wide should our hood be? Okay, so what we want, we want our hood to uh, be... Uh, a half of the head circumference okay so we will be measuring we will be putting it like this in half and we will be measuring for a half of the head circumference so if my head circumference right here was 50 centimeters I'm gonna divide that into two so 25 centimeters wide but we will add two centimeters when we are going to do uh, the the edging right here okay so this is approximately two centimeters so 25 minus 2 is 23 centimeters in width okay it's sorry it's getting a little difficult for me on the table right here it's, don't have a whole lot of space 
So when you put it together, <clears throat> you will want this to be a half of your head circumference, so 25 centimeters in total. But you want to leave the last two centimeters for the edging around the hood, so 23 in total. So I have another six centimeters to increase for, okay? When I will be at 23, I will stop increasing and just finish the hood with uh, without the increases, okay? Now let's see. So we have the head circumference here. You need to, to divide this number into two and minus two centimeters from what you get. So let's say 52, you divide into two, you get 26 centimeters and you minus two because you want to leave that edge, you get 24 centimeters in width for the hood. Now if you're having trouble with that, uh, leave me a comment and I can do uh, the counting for you if, if this is difficult, okay? <clears throat> Just let me know what age you're making and what the head circumference is and I will uh, count it out for you. Okay, so like I said, for now, just keep increasing until you get to, to the width of the hood. Uh, once, I, once I get that, I will come back and we will talk about the height and if we want to do a little bit of rounding up at the corner or at the bend of the hood, okay? So for now, just keep going. Okay, so I have reached my 23 centimeters in width, which once I make my edging right here on the front, it will take me to um, half of the head circumference in the width of the hood. Okay, so uh, I did my increases here, here, and here and it was enough now if it's going really really slow for you uh, the increasing then what you can do is do a double twice the increase uh, to speed uh, that process a little bit so you would normally um, increase about here and here what you can do is do another uh, two increases about here and here just spread them out so that will get you to the width uh, faster now the next step is to get our hood long enough to uh, uh, to fit the child, okay? So this is the hood right here and this is the height of the hood. So for me, three to four years, it's 28 centimeters in length. I am at, let me see, I am at, so I'm gonna measure from where I have started from right here. I am at approximately 17 and a half centimeters, let's say 17 centimeters in height. I need another <coughs> 11, approximately 11 centimeters. Is it 11? Yes, 11. Oh, I'm at 18, so I need another 10 centimeters uh, to get to the height of the hood. Now, the thing that I wanted to talk to you about right now, that if you want your hood to have this kind of shape at the top instead of the sharp corner what you need to do is uh, this now you're gonna measure out so two, uh, two full rows of a pattern like this and how much does it make okay so it makes up five centimeters for me okay it might be a little bit different for you uh, if you're using a slightly different yarn but it should be approximately the same so five centimeters in length okay because that's where I do my decreasing right here in the last two um, like full rows okay so then you look up at the full height of your hood so it is 28 centimeters for me and I'm gonna minus the five centimeters okay so it will make 23 so I need to keep going with this pattern until I am at 23 centimeters will which will probably uh, be another two rows like this and then the last two I will do the decreasing now uh, we just need to plan a little bit ahead right here uh, what you can do you can do one decrease if if uh, that's easier for you it will not be as um, 
blunt as this but still uh, I just find it a little nicer when it has like that so keep going if you want to do the decreasing stop at approximately uh, two rows worth of length at the top uh, if you don't want that just keep going with the pattern until you reach the length of the hood okay so I'm approximately two full rows away from the full length and now I'm going to do my decreasing right here so um, grab a stitch marker place place it nice and straight and find the approximate middle of the hood you can count your stitches if you want but this way it's uh, much easier okay so the next row that we are going to do is the double crochet row and we begin as usual with double crochets and we want to stop four stitches before the stitch marker that is where we're going to do our decreasing so normal double crochets I'm gonna see you approximately here okay so I have four stitches as you can see before the stitch marker now we're gonna crochet two double crochets together twice okay so halfway yarn over into the next one we have done this on the sleeves so it's exactly the same and pull that's one and one more decrease two stitch marker out we put one double crochet in there and put your stitch marker back into that stitch we are still gonna need it one more time and then after we make two uh, uh, two double crochets together twice again and one more and we finish the row with one double crochet into each stitch now keep going start the next row and I will see you at these decreases and we will see how to do the fr uh, front puff stitch so here I am oops, at my two decreases you can see them right here and my next stitch should be double crochet so I'm just gonna double crochet into the top of that stitch now if you need to do a puff stitch here uh, you just choose one of these double crochets and make a puff stitch around it okay so for me it's double crochet like that next is a puff stitch so I'm just gonna choose one of these two double crochets uh, let's say I'll do this one right here it doesn't really matter but we just don't want to increase back so we just use one of them per stitch then it's the stitch marker I'm gonna take that out and it's double crochet for me so I did that mark that stitch back and then again puff stitch for me so I'm just gonna choose one of these it doesn't really matter then a double crochet and a puff stitch and so on and then you want to do it once more the exact same thing so uh, I'm not gonna show you that because I don't think it's very difficult so you start again you're gonna start with the double crochet row once you have the last four stitches before your stitch marker you're just gonna crochet two together crochet two together uh, double crochet where the stitch marker is and then after the stitch marker crochet two together crochet two together finish the row and one more row with a pattern and then you just need to uh, look carefully w w where your decreases are okay so everything is exactly the same we just want to do a little bit more of decreasing so finish those and then we can uh, stitch up together the hood okay so just finished my hood and you can see how this is um, kind of 
going in nicely. Okay, so next thing is we're gonna connect. Now we need to check the length again. I think I should be okay at uh, 20, let me see. Yeah, so I am maybe just a little under 28 centimeters. It's absolutely fine. I'm happy with it. I can slip stitch it together. Now, if you're missing a little bit, you can always go around with single crochets or even double crochets just to add that a uh, little bit of um, extra uh, length. But for me, I'm happy with this. I'm just gonna slip stitch. Uh, again, you can uh, sew it together, together if it's easier for you. I just prefer... Um, slip stitching it's a little faster for me personally so you turn your hood inside out and you want to connect the one side to another okay, I have one chain one there take that out I'm gonna chain one and then you just go into one stitch on one side and another stitch on the other side and slip stitch And then at the very very end last slip stitch chain one and cut your yarn it's gonna leave a little tail and pull that out now before you uh, hide any of those tails <clears throat> turn it inside out and see if you're happy with how it looks I am happy it looks really really nice now we're almost there we just need uh, to finish the front around the hood okay so grab your yarn make a slip knot and we will now attach our yarn on this side of the hood right here so at the very bottom we're going to chain one and we will just make a row of double crochets all the way around so as we don't have any stitches we're just gonna have to find a place uh, where to put them so I usually put approximately three sometimes four double crochets into two rows so you can see these are two rows and these are two okay so whatever is more comfortable for you three or four so I'm gonna go back in there make a double crochet just try not to make too many like five would definitely be too much and then a double crochet right here and then right here right here and right here so I made three double crochets in the two rows right here I can actually make four and then maybe one, two, and three this time. So the next two rows I'll put probably four, one, two, three, and four, and maybe three this time into these two rows one two and three the general thing is just we, we don't want uh, the edge to be wider 
than the actual hood. So maybe 4343 three would be uh, okay. Or if it's hard for you, just make them uh, nicely like that. You won't be able, if you have any holes in between them, you won't be able to see that as we will be doing the front post uh, double crochet row next. So, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three this time. And so on all the way around the hood, just double crochets. Like that. You can see I have a hole, it doesn't matter, you will not be able to see that. So keep going, I'll see you right here. And at the end right here, so there's a single crochet, just put your last double crochet in it. So I have a little knot, so a bit harder to get in there. Double crochet. Okay? Then we're going to chain one and turn. And we will start with a half double crochet into the very first stitch on top of that first double crochet and then a front post double crochet and a half double crochet, front post double crochet, half double. We have done that. So I will see you at the end of this row. Now at the very end I have a half double crochet and I would like to finish with a front post and a half double crochet but I technically only have the chain one and the double crochet left right here. So I'm just going to use that double crochet to make a front post although technically this is the last stitch and then I'll just make a half double crochet into the stitch like this just to make up the pattern to the end. Okay then chain one and turn and this time it's half double crochets and back post double crochets so a half double crochet into the very first stitch and then a back post double crochet half double crochet back post double crochet half double and back post double and just like that to the end of the row. Finishing this row with a half double crochet into the last stitch. Chain one and this is going to be our last row. We're just going to make one double crochet into each stitch. All the way around to the other side. Just double crochets. We just need to add a little bit more length and you will not be able to see that the last row doesn't have the front post uh, stitches because it will be right underneath like that. So keep going, I'll see you on the other side. So once you finish the last row you want to leave yourself enough uh, yarn to sew it together or to sew it down to the hood like this. So I'm just going to leave a good bit of yarn and cut it off. Now the next step is, I'm going to pull, pull the hook out. The next step is to make the little string for the hood. Okay, so it's not very difficult to make. It's Technically it is like making a chain, but Like this, okay? But it's kind of wider and it's a little bit uh, more steady. So the chains can be a little soft. So this is how my string looks like. Now if you don't like the string, you can make uh, absolutely anything uh, else. But I like that this string is kind of uh, flat. Like this. Okay, so to make the string, grab your yarn. And it is quite simple. So make a slip knot. Uh, actually, leave a little bit longer tail. Okay. So the trick is in the very beginning right here. Okay. So make one chain 
And this is very important now, okay? So you want to take the tail that you have, okay, from behind and put it in front, like this, okay? So you're kind of, if this is how you hold it, you can take it with the finger and just sweep it around the working yarn, okay? And this is what we are going to do now. Now we're going to go back into that chain, that the very first one. And we have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, you have one loop on your hook. Again, you're going to go into that very last loop or the chain that you have made. It might be a little tricky in the beginning. So you go right there and you pick up yarn over and pull through and you can see you have like two strings there so you want to pick up the top one and you have two loops yarn over and pull through both and again pull pull and as you can see, it starts, it's, uh, I don't know what, it, it looks like a, like a little braid. It's very nice. And again, you can see you have two loops over there. So you're going to go back into that very first one. Yarn over, pull. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite quick. Quicker than uh, probably any other string that I have made. because it's a little bit like chaining maybe just a little bit slower than that but like I said once you get the hang of it it gets pretty easy and quick so keep going until your string uh, is long enough to have a little bit of space underneath like this this I would probably leave all this for the hanging part on the bottom and I will make it uh, long enough to go around and have a little extra at the bottom okay so I have my uh, string made now once you finish you can just cut your yarn and pull out uh, pull out the chain that you had on the hook I just completely forgot to, to show that but it's not very difficult okay so this is my hood like this and this is my string so we can see it's a little bit longer than the actual front of the hood okay so now grab your needle and we will start sewing it now first of all before you start this is important make a knot on one of the sides okay just so it doesn't escape before we even finish now you're gonna place place it like this on the inside so this is the inside of the hood Okay, and now I'm just going to sew this side to approximately right here where I have started the edge of the hood. So I'm just going to put it like this and start sewing. Make sure you don't sew on the string. And you can just sew whatever way is easiest for you. I'm just going to go in and out just to catch both sides. Again, make sure that you're not going to sew on the string. And just like that all the way around now once in a while I think you should uh, just make sure that you're not uh, let's say sewing this side um, how do I say <clears throat> that you're not stretching one side and the other side is really loose so again one more thing that you can do is you can find that very very top 
and perhaps uh, put in a stitch marker so you know that this is a half of your hood and this is another half so anyway whichever way is easiest for you just keep going I'll see you when we finish sewing so I am done sewing and I'm just gonna make a knot at the very end and hide the, a little bit that tail and cut it off and here we are we are just about to be finished we just need uh, to figure out the end on the string now whatever you are going to do you have to have at least a little knot at the end okay just to keep it from coming out uh, the other thing is if you feel that this part is too wide and the knot can go uh, easily through it you can do a little bit of sewing sew it closer to the uh, to leave a smaller hole for it okay but I feel that it's gonna be okay for me so I have my little uh, string stoppers or whatever they are called not sure uh, so this is what I'm gonna do okay so thread the tail from the string and I'm just gonna go right into the string right like this and pull that out I'm gonna cut off the excess now I am going to have a knot in there so I don't need to do any more uh, tail hiding then I'm gonna take one of these a hook in catch that string and pull it out I'm gonna make a knot at the end and cover and close and exactly the same with the other one And just like that, I'm finished. Now I do have one tail uh, left in the hood, which I have to uh, hide. But look at this. I really love these. I have loads of them in different colors. They just make everything look much more, uh, I don't know, real perhaps. And they're just there. Uh, I was actually, technically, I was going to use all four uh, in different colors. But then I kind of went, ah, now I'll probably have just red ones. Okay, so now you need to make another um, string at the bottom right here. Let me show you something, okay? So, when you make the string for the bottom, you have to make sure that it can actually stretch out to, uh, as much as the uh, cardigan stretches, okay? So, and then you can leave it as long as you want. You can make it long enough to make a little uh, bow perhaps here. My one is not long enough. Well, if you want to, okay? Now, there's one thing that I'm going to show you. Just in case you need to hide any tails around the string, okay, be careful. Now, this is what I did. And I have no problem showing my mistakes, okay? So, when I was making this for my daughter, I had a few tails left right here, and I already had the string. So, when I was hiding the tails, I actually caught on the string, and now this side right here is sewn on okay so when I have to open it it really kind of uh, catches on to it not a big deal <clears throat> my daughter uh, can get st still get in but it's not moving it's like it's tied up so I, I am going to fix it I'm gonna find the place where it's uh, stitched on and I'm just gonna figure out what to do can't even find it now or oh, I think it's here somewhere here it is here this is the place where it's sewn on so anyways this is just so you know that mistakes like this happen and sometimes it's really hard to fix it after so just be careful okay so the last tail that I have is right here <clears throat> and we need a little knot to finish it so I'm gonna go in from the bottom 
up I'm gonna uh, catch that loop go into that loop with my needle and pull tight we have a knot and now I'm just gonna hide it so hopefully you have uh, finished everything by now well perhaps you might have a, another string to go but I am completely finished I am very happy I really really enjoy making these <clears throat> They take a little bit of time, but they come out really, really nice and soft. And I love the detail on the inside. So this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is how my hoodie looks like. I hope that you have enjoyed this and you made one for perhaps even for yourself or for, for the children, perhaps for Christmas fair, maybe just to sell. Um, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Okay? Bye!